good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12-pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud versus Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Manta Man combined. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. Aren't there other survivors from that time? Oh, sure. There were a lot of us ghouls that lived back then. But none of us looked as good as you. Are you really that old? I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! Yeah, something like that. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. How did you get used to everything? Mainly I focused on survival. It got real bad after the bombs fell. For a long while, I tried not to think of the good old days. Just too painful. But it's all we got now. So we gotta try and make it better. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the Cryo Vault and all. Why me? You helped me out when everyone else just laughed at me. And you're from the olden days, just like me. You know how much things have fallen? How much we gotta fight for? To make the place b better? So you win? Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's... Some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once-in-a-lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Holy moly, the Silver Shroud. Shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, a slave in Scully Square. Just a doubt is out. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the 
Perhaps I'll just call him. Now, if, if you'll excuse me. Not so fast, fancy pants. Your wallet. And that's... Friend of the show. Jerry is here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. We're recording in here. Aw, oh, man. Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? You've been to Diamond City? Oh, Good noodles. You better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have k killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Galaxy News! Radio! Keep your hands where I can see them. Hey there. Hey, look at the clown. The this is my turf clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them. Trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. He can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 cash just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back. All right? Tracking our dear Mayor Murphy. Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. You're through, son. Hell you! Here, let Waste me the show free. you. I'll see you! So, Mr. Mayor, I hope you found the place. What the? Silver Trout! And this is a mystery? And the mayor? Dead? Fat Fady, the infamous Muscles! The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. Back and now, a special update. Looking the villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Charlie. My way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud, then? Well, I'm nutter. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. And you, you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> Galaxy! 
special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming a good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Guy, guess what someone tells me? Some costume freak is operating in Good Neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book in the Mike Den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that, so far. But I gotta ask, one freak to another, why the getup? Many have sought to pierce the shroud to no avail. You just don't stop. Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you. I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two Bit Raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone... He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own. Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holding up in Prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? Hi. If it isn't the boy behind the costume. You've been really naughty, Mr. Shroud. Making all my friends so nervous with your calling cards. Taking out Sinjin's favorite toy soldiers. But now it's time to rip your goddamned heart out! i fucking kill you! <laughs> I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Calm yourself. The Shroud is here to help. Please, stop. That's what got Kent into trouble in the first place. A dozen raiders barged in and snatched him. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again. Here's a Silver Shroud update. In case you missed it, Kendra's reign of terror is over. She won't be. What? Oh, God. What's happening? On your knees, dirtbag. What? What are you doing? What? Ah! Sinjin, all clear. This is the Shroud's headquarters. So you must be the Silver Shroud's little friend. Yes. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Do it, Shroud! Do it! On my knee! Ah! Tick-tock, Shroud. Don't keep me waiting. We got business that needs finishing. We're gonna talk for you! 
Gonna say it again. Hold, assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Kent's head. You shield yourself behind an innocent. You are craven, Sinjin. And you shall fall before me. Don't talk to me like that. Some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. <laughs> like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know. You're human. And you're weak. You came here and for what? You little sidekick? I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can truly say I'm not the Shroud? Don't listen, man. He's a phony. So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then, I'm going to Good Neighbor and kill every last worthless bastard there and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. I am the instrument of justice, and I cannot fall. Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am its shroud. Stop talking like that! It is the shroud, it really is! Screw this! Coach. <laughs> Never been so happy to see anyone in my entire life. Are you all right? My leg is killing me, but it could have been so much worse. I just give up on all of it. Crime fighting just isn't what I thought it'd be. Really? After all this, you're just giving up? I knew it was bad out there. But this? I don't even think the Silver Shroud himself could fix this disaster area. If you just quit, then the bad guys have already won. You... you're right. But I'm tired. I just want to go home. I'm going back to Good Neighbor. Really, thanks for saving me. But I'm just done. The deed is done. The dreaded Sinjin breathes no more. All by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. You played your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? The price of throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be without his faithful friend, Red Reinhardt? This. This means a lot to me. I'm gonna need some time to heal, you know? But then I got a special project in mind, just for you. I'll fire up my radio station if I make any progress. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. <laughs>